the talking cloth assessment. Circle the best answer. Number one, what does the color of the Adinkra cloth stand for? A, it names the person who sewed the cloth. B, it tells how the person feels who was wearing it. C, it shows how warm or cold it is outside. Number two, which does not belong on a list that tells the meanings of the small black shapes on the cloth? A, faith. B, smiles. C, power. Number three, Aunt Phoebe tells the meaning of some symbols on her cloth. What does the word symbols mean? A. Stitches made with silk thread. B. Brightly colored pictures. C. Shapes that stand for ideas. Number four. They used their wealth to give homeless people food and clothing. What does the word wealth mean? A. Riches. B. Tools. C. Ideas. Number five, strategy focus is to summarize. Summarize how Amber comes to learn the way that the Adinkra cloth talks. Be sure to use complete sentences and be sure to use your book as a reference. Pause this test to write your response. Number six. What does the Adrinka cloth look like? Use your book as a reference and pause this test to write your response in complete sentences. Vocabulary match. Match the definition on the left with the vocabulary word on the right. A. Members of a royal family such as kings and queens. Is that collector, royalty, or collection? Letter B. A person who gathers things or has a collection. Collector, royalty, collection. Letter C. A group of objects with something in common, often gathered and displayed. Collector, royalty, collection. Letter D. A dramatic way of waving motion. A showy way of doing something. Flourish, embroidered, wealth, symbols. E. Plenty of money or other valuable things. Flourish, embroidered, wealth, symbols. F. Designs that stand for other things or ideas. Flourish, embroidered, wealth, symbols. G. Decorated by sewing designs with a needle and thread or yarn. Flourish, embroidered, wealth, symbols. Read the following passage, then answer each question by circling the best choice. Follow along on your test while I read it aloud. Kristen learns a family recipe. Mom, it's snowing too hard to play outside, complained Kristen. Well then, her mother said, this is a great afternoon to share a family tradition. I'll teach you how to make the cookies that your great-great-grandmother used to make. Kristen was curious. How do you know the recipe? Your great-great-grandmother shared the recipe with her daughter. That was my grandmother, and she taught my mother the recipe. Kristen's mother looked at a picture of her own mother and smiled. I still remember the smell of those wonderful cookies baking the day that Mom taught me this recipe. Kristen couldn't wait to make the cookies. She helped her mother make the dough. They mixed butter, sugar, eggs, milk, lemon juice, and flour. While the dough chilled, Kristen and her mother made the filling. They boiled raisins in water and added sugar and vanilla. Kristen cut out circles of dough. She placed a little raisin filling in each one. When the cookies were done baking, they were soft and lemony. 
best of all, there were sweet raisins in the middle. What other family recipes do you know? asked Kristen. I want to start a family recipe book. Choose the best answer based on this story. Number one, in what season does the story probably take place? A. Winter B. Summer C. Spring Number two, what does Kristen's mother remember best about the day she learned to make cookies? A. The weather B. Stirring the dough C. The smell of the cookies Three, how do you know that the recipe makes Kristen's mother remember her own mother? A. She helps Kristen make the dough B. She tells Kristen it is a great afternoon. C. She looks at her mother's picture and smiles. D. She helps Kristen gather the ingredients. Number four. Which is an ingredient that Kristen uses to make the dough? A. Lemon juice. B. Raisins. C. Filling. D. Vanilla. Number five. What detail shows you that family is important to Kristen? A. She stays inside to bake. B. She wants to make a book of family recipes. C. She helps her mother make the dough. When you have finished this entire test, go back and check your answers very carefully.